this is probably a no-brainer question, but how many of you have hunted out of an apple tree or near an apple tree or near a pear tree, plum tree, crab apple tree? In this case, we have a giant crab apple tree that provided seven shots for my wife and my kids last year. My wife shot her first deer last year. My son, uh, Sam, shot his first deer right out of a stand we have right behind the camera, right to 22 yards, right to this point right here. Uh, so obviously apple trees, soft mass trees, are an incredible hunting stand enhancer. And this is the perfect situation because we have deer that are bedded in the hills behind me, and then they're coming down. We actually have an apple tree that's about 200 yards behind me. I think we're gonna stick a camera on it right now. One we can't get to very often, but I think the pictures and the scrapes around it will be worth it for the footage we can collect from it. But perfect setup because deer in their woods, in their hitting woody brows and hard mass all day, hard to digest, and then they come out of the hills and they come into these fields that are full of green. We have a big lush food plot up here. We have a food plot strip that's only 35 yards away. And they can come right to this apple tree and it's a perfect complement to that afternoon soft mass food source movement where they can actually wash down that hard to digest woody browse and acorns that they find during the day and that they need during the bedding hour um, portions of the day. And they can come in here and this is a great complement to that wash down green food source soft mass combination. Big difference between soft mass and hard mast. Um, you know, we're talking soft mass including the pears, plums, apples, and then in the woods, hard mass might include cherry, beech, acorns. It also, to me, is the same class as woody browse, including woody shrub tips, hardwood regeneration, and briars. Big difference between soft mass and hard mass. Hard mass, hard to digest, soft mass, easy to digest, and I almost think that deer sometimes they take a drink with this to wash down that hard stuff. Deer need that hard mass and that woody browse twice during the daylight hours. That would include mid-morning, early afternoon, deer feed five times in a 24-hour period. You could look at those as feedings one and two I refer to. Feeding three is the most important as it relates to your land and the hunting season movement and protecting deer because you want deer on your land hitting those green food sources, hitting that soft mass, in the afternoon, about an hour before dark, and then you send those deer on their way, middle of the night, wherever they're gonna feed. Around here, it's the ag fields, it's the neighborhood bird feeders and shrubs right down here, just a couple hundred yards away. That's where they'll feed on all night, it's safe and social, but big difference between hard mass and soft mass. I encourage you, if you have private land, really look at planting soft mass trees around your food sources, around your food plots, to reinforce and enhance that afternoon food source movement that you're already trying to create with diverse food plot plantings, this is just an awesome, very strong, very powerful enhancement to that movement and to that food source, that soft food source, that digestible food source that deer need in the afternoon hours. But at the same time, let's face it, like I said in the beginning, I would venture that 95% of you have hunted over some type of or near some type of soft mass tree in the afternoon hours, maybe during a midday rut stand. But what an incredible hunting spot. And I can't wait to hunt there with the boys maybe with my wife this year too. Um, I know the boys, they can't wait to sit in this stand. It's easy to get to. We come up right up a bank back here. We can actually sneak up to the stand and almost not spook the deer that are in this location. Soft mass trees, consider them for the perfect hunting stand enhancement. Hard mass, consider planting oaks and other hard mass species, chestnuts, out in your woods where deer can browse on them. And, um, and they need that browse component during the day. But those trees, acorns, oaks, typically chestnuts, they're not gonna establish that daily pattern of use, that defined movement from bedding to feeding that you can capitalize on and build your land around. So that's why it's great to scatter those within your bedding areas and these soft mass trees, specifically where you hunt and within that afternoon food source. So you could line your food plots with them. But boy, when you have a giant, old, ancient crab apple tree like this or apple tree that you can put a stand nearby, near those afternoon food plots, what a spot to hunt. And I can't wait to deliver the footage to you guys this hunting season, which really it's September 6th right now and it's starting in 10 days and we can't wait. And this will be one of our number one early season spots. Have a great time planting these soft mass trees or something enjoyable you can do in the off season. Boy, it can pay off big during the hunting season.